Welcome to another episode of Cooking on the Fry. Today we have a minor emergency. My lovely ex-wife gave me this beautiful gold zucchini from her own garden and I think it's going to go bad in a couple days if I don't eat it. So I want to eat it. Also, uh, I've put on a couple pounds because I've been eating too well for my own good even with my feeble cooking skills and I do not want to end up riding a scooter at Walmart when I'm really old so I need a low calorie dinner really low calorie and I think this gorgeous gold zucchini looking squash that I don't know if well I don't oh no I don't know if it's a zucchini or not but I think it'll do the trick I'm gonna fry this up and eat it okay first thing I'm gonna do is cut it into thin pieces You get the idea. A couple of minutes later, we have a whole lot of zucchini slices. Okay, my pan is already preheated at about one notch below medium because I just washed it out a few minutes ago and I had the heat on to dry it out, which you should do after you wash an iron skillet. So I'm going to pour in some extra virgin olive oil. Because I happen to have that bottle open, I personally don't care if the olive oil is extra virgin, married, divorced, living in sin. It really doesn't matter for cooking, not for me. It's just lower temperature oil that uh, means I don't have to burn through my expensive high smoke point oil that I use uh, for meat. Oh, and it's going a little crazy, so, um, or is it? Is this going to be okay? It might be okay. It's starting to smoke. This pan may be a little hotter than I uh, I gave it credit for. Let's get the zucchini in there. Zooks away! Okay, I'm going to spread them out a little. Oh, awesome. And I'm going to stand back because this pan isn't level. I've got oil that has accumulated in one part of the pan. Isn't that special? Well, I'm going to spread them out anyway. Okay, we got them all spread out. And what I'm going to try to do, safety first, is move this pan and redistribute some of this oil. I don't do a lot of cooking where I dump oil in the pan. I prefer to put the oil on the thing I'm cooking and then cook the thing. So this is a little different. As we can see, some of these are already starting to cook through a little bit. Uh, we've been at this for about a minute. I have no idea what the timing is, so I'm just going by visuals here. Okay, we're gonna learn as we go. Now, I've got some of this Weber steak and chop, steak and chop seasoning here, excuse me. And I noticed that what it really is, I don't know if you, you can read that, It's Salt, garlic, onion, sugar, lemon peel, citric acid. Well, that looks like some of the things people put on zucchinis. I did, I did watch a couple other videos. And so I'm going to dump this on my zucchinis. How bad could it be? Okay, I'll just let them cook a little bit. We're about four minutes into this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my meat tongs here, and I'm going to lift one of these up and just see what the other side looks like. Oh, isn't that neat? That looks like about what I want, so what I'm going to do is flip the others over. Okay, I got most of them flipped. I think next time I'll probably just go ahead and use the spatula. That was a little more work than I would have preferred. However, they look like they're coming along pretty good, and this demonstrates that there are vast heat differences even with an iron skillet, because some of these cooked significantly more than others. I'm going to leave these for about three more minutes. 
and because I've, I've had this seasoning for a long time and I want to use it up actually, I'm just going to dump a bunch more on there. There we go. I'm flipping some of the, the lesser cooked ones from the side of the pan that I moved to the middle a few minutes ago. Yes, it is fun to play with your food, actually. Uh, parents tell you not to do that. Well, when you're a grown-up, it's okay. Okay, it's been another three minutes. I'm going to take a sample, okay? And I'm going to walk it over here and just let it cool for a few seconds and give it a try. Well, that sample is gone and it was actually pretty good. So I'm going to get the rest of the zucchinis out of there and get them onto a plate and let them cool down. Well, there you've got it. A very quick plate of fried zucchini with nothing but olive oil and some salt, pepper, garlic, lemon powder all mixed up into one prepackaged seasoning. Price is right. Didn't cost me anything. And now I'm going to go take this plate of zucchini cooked chippy looking things and continue binge watching past seasons of my favorite cooking reality shows. Bye for now.